Hey everyone, it's Camille, neurodiabetic, your diabetes tech guy. It's December, which can only mean one thing here. It's time for our annual diabetes tech predictions for the upcoming year. In this video, I'm talking through what are the most interesting rumors and expectations for the upcoming year and what you need to know about them. So let's dive right in. Let's start with the G7. In 2025, Dexcom is expected to launch the 15 day wearable of the G7. G6 and G7 had parity, so G6 was also 10 days. G7 did gain the 12 hours, so it's 10 and a half days now, but we're expecting to have it last 15 days in 2025. Dexcom One Plus rollout continues. Dexcom One Plus is the next generation of the budget generation of Dexcom CGM. So we have the premium CGMs, the G6 and G7s, and then we have the what I call iPhone SE of the Dexcom family, which is the Dexcom One. Now Dexcom is upgrading the One to One Plus, which is based on the G7 wearable. So it's 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 this. It's the Dexcom G7, same wearable, lasts for ten and a half days but without some of the software features that Dexcom G7 has. So just like with Dexcom 1, OnePlus, no pump, no pen, no Apple Health, no Apple Watch, and none of the share capabilities that we have there. Next up, Dexcom Hospital CGM. Center of Medica in the US published latest filing and we can see that Dexcom has filed G7 to be used in hospitals. Obviously people with diabetes wear CGMs in hospitals, this request is for Dexcom to be used as a diagnosis tool for anyone admitted into hospital with dysglycemia, which is a posh name for glucose, which is outside of regular range. No matter if they might be a pre-diagnosis of type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, or something unrelated to diabetes, and they just admitted to hospital with glucose, which is not where it should be. Next up is Yupsomed diabetes care division sale. This is going to be a very interesting one. Yupso Med, they make the Yupso pump and the associated My Life Loop hybrid closed loop system, which automatically adjusts insulin delivery based on glucose from a Freestyle Libre free sensor or a Dexcom G6. If you are using one of those systems, I would advise you to follow them on social media so you are the first to know about any potential changes. You know, a new owner might do things like change the customer service opening hours or anything like that. It would be good to be in the loop, so I would advise you to follow them on social so you're the first to know. I have my predictions as to who I believe will want to buy them, but I keep them to myself. Medtronic Simplera CGM rollout continues and it is expected to continue in 2025. Simplera Sync FDA approval is rumored for next year. It's already out in Europe. Software update for existing 780G is rolling out as production for Simplera ramps up. This year, Medtronic signed a partnership with Abbott to make a custom version of the Freestyle Libre sensor, which will work with the Medtronic ecosystem. So that's Medtronic's pumps and their in-pen smart pen system. I'm predicting there to be no product news and launches from this custom CGM over the course of 2025. My rumors, I'm, I'm kind of hearing this will happen at some point in 2026. Medtronic a while ago has also unveiled their next generation, the 800 series pump. And I'm hoping to see some traction from the 800 series pump at some point in 2025. 800 series pump is a complete redesign to the existing 700 series, which has been the same design for many, many years. And I've done a full video about it here. Tandem Mobi rollout in the US continues. I've not heard of any rumors of Mobi rollout outside of the US. Tandem is a very American first company. Let's remember they haven't launched phone bowlers outside of the US just yet. So, you know, they really tend to prioritize their uh, American community before rolling out technology somewhere else. So far, this insulin pump form factor of a combination between tubed and tubeless has always failed, but so far I'm hearing very positive feedback about Toby from people in the US. They seem not to have any major reliability issues. I mean, we're still very early days in the rollout of it there, but you know, it's certainly the one to watch. It's a very interesting insulin pump and with control IQ algorithm and integration with CGMs, it's looking good. And lastly, Eversense, 
they just got their approval of the 365, which is the only long-term CGM out there, which you can wear for a year. It's implanted under your skin and then there's an attachment on top of it. I've done a video about it a while ago. That rollout is expected to continue and I'm hoping to hear some pump partner news at some point in 2025. Oh, and one more thing next year, GOP wants everywhere as they have been this year. It's what everyone is talking about and all of the big tech companies are trying to come up with clinical trials, user interface experiences to use GOP ones in conjunction with CGMs, insulin pumps and hybrid closed loops to prove that those two technologies, those two therapies can coexist together and how to make that experience as seamless as possible. So that's my last video of 2024. I've had just a fantastic year. I've personally managed to fundraise over £15,000 to JDRF, or now known as Breakthrough T1D, just over 10k from Omnipod Wall 2, which now is displayed proudly in insured offices in London, and another £5,000 on the Dexcom Wall project. Massive thank you to Dexcom for the 5k donation and Inchlet for the 10k donation. I couldn't have been proud to make this happen. Many great opportunities. I had so much fun on YouTube. I, I've been doing videos about things that I really want to talk about, not just doing things for the sake of them. And I, I just can't wait to experience 2025 with all of you. Thanks for following along and if you want more, Please share with someone who might find this interesting and do subscribe because it genuinely means a lot when, when I see you guys stay in for the journey. And have an amazing end of year and I see you all in 2025. Bye bye.